president of the elect, elect of the United States, Donald Trump, says uh, under his administration they will accept no Syrian refugees. Why do you think they've taken that approach? I'm I'm not going to answer why's. Uh, I'm just going to continue to um, point out the facts uh, that uh, the way Canada is benefiting uh, from uh, welcoming in uh, people who are. Uh, so uh, deeply um, committed to uh, living up to the opportunity given to them. Uh, the fact is, I know uh, that, you know, people often sort of uh, talk about, you know, how refugees or immigrants might be second-class citizens of a country they join. Well, that never happened in Canada, because I think Canadians, to a certain extent, uh, I certainly, I, I have, um, I'm always jealous of the people who get to choose Canada. Hmm. I got born here. You know, I, I, you know, my parents didn't get to choose to come to Canada. My, my great grandparents did on the on the Scottish side, uh, but I didn't get to choose Canada. You got to choose Canada. You get to decide that you want to shape and build uh, a country uh, that lines up with your passions and, and your values, and you want to build uh, a better future for yourselves and your kids. I mean, well, we, that we, we've seen active not just in, choice. It's not just in the United States. I mean, there are other governments around the world in the last year since we have, as a nation, been involved in this that have, have stepped away from this, that have tightened up, that have said, we don't want to have anything to do with this. And I just wonder, I mean, why you think that is happening? Why, why the mood has changed? I don't know, I, I challenge any, any one of those governments or their citizens to sit down around a table like this and, uh, and break bread and uh, not be afraid of the other, uh, but understand that, that you know, being open to different experiences, to different, uh, um, different paths and stories as we share the same goals of building better future for our kids, more opportunity for our neighbors, uh, and better peaceful success for all of us, that we're much better coming at it from a whole bunch of different angles and working together to achieve it. How concerned are you about a rise of anti-refugee, anti-immigrant sentiment here? In Canada? In this country. The, where people would say, we need to take care of our own, our own first rather than bring somebody else. Oh, I think uh, the, the, the stories that you've told about wanting to make sure that uh, uh, that your experience feeds into me doing a better job of taking care of everyone is, uh, is a piece of that. Uh, I think the fact that um, there's always going to be a temptation um, by certain people to um, play on fears uh, and uh, highlight differences. Uh, but quite frankly, as long as we do a good job of sharing your stories, of uh, getting people to be involved in your success as we have. Um, it's gonna be hard to really get traction in a country that uh, you know, for everyone except uh, indigenous peoples uh, came here from somewhere else trying to build a better life for Just themselves. The last point on this, which is that to a lot of people it's about who we're bringing in. Um, and there are people who believe and, 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 and understand that there is a benefit from people arriving here. There are others who, as you know, are suspicious. Um, when someone like a candidate for the Conservative leadership says, we need to be screening for anti-Canadian values, what's your reaction to that? Um, a few weeks ago, I was uh, meeting a group of, uh, of Muslim Canadians, uh, and um, they were very happy to see me, very supportive of me in that particular group. And I said, okay, I'm glad you're all supportive of me, but I have a request for you. You all have friends uh, or family members who uh, you know, disagree with me on this or that or other things, or maybe a little more uh, conservative economically or a little more uh, environmentally you know, out there than I am. Um, the other two political parties have leadership races on right now. Um, I'd like to see more Canadians of diverse backgrounds engaging uh, with parties that line up with their uh, convictions and ideologies to make sure that no party gets to run against uh, Muslim Canadians or uh, any other group of Canadians uh, and demonize them. And I think the way we do that is by getting involved in the whole breadth of, uh, of uh, the political spectrum in Canada. I mean, I 
happy when people decide that they, uh, they're more aligned with me and my party, but uh, they should also think about uh, being active and aligned with uh, uh, parties that disagree with me on, on certain issues.